Utah, Arizona, Arizona State, and Colorado had set up a meeting with the Big 12 today, and I don't know if they were all separate or if they all decided to do it together as a group, but uh, we will go ahead and show you here. Big 12 in deep discussions, now the latest from Dennis Dodd, is to add up to six Pac-12 teams after USC and UCLA, of course, went over to the Big 10. Uh, This is... Very, very interesting because there was a report last week that the Pac-12 and the Big 12 were also going to meet today to possibly discuss some kind of a merger. Uh, Another point of news here, Colorado has scheduled a Board of Regents call, uh, a Board of Regents meeting that will be done through Zoom for Tuesday evening. Now, what that means, who knows? And, of course, it is a little ironic that Colorado left the Big 12 to go join the Pac-12 And that had a lot to do with academics and going along with the same philosophy of the way that they want their university to be run, whether that's with sports and academics or whatever, right? There's there's a lot going on there. But now, if you are about to get left out in the cold, yeah, it would make sense to jump back to the Big 12 who found a way after Texas and Oklahoma left to shore up their conference and make them at least a viable option, right? They have enough members, they have enough brands to where they will at least be worth something. We don't know what the Pac-12 will actually be worth. Um, What what I was curious about is, would the Pac-12 and the Big 12 do a merger and then basically split into two divisions? Basically give both of them enough programs to be able to run their schedules and whatnot and maybe have a conference championship game between the two best teams in those conferences. That could get a little bit tricky. So I'm curious what kind of merger they would set up because if you're looking at it right now, the Pac-12 only has 10 teams remaining. Now, that is before any other moves are made with the Big Ten. The two other additional schools that the Big 12 is looking at is Oregon and Washington. Now, notice this leaves out Washington State and Oregon State. We're going to get to that here in just a minute, but if they take... Those six schools, the only four Pac-12 schools that would be left are Washington State, Oregon State, Stanford, and Cal. Now, we'll talk about John Canzano and media rights and who's worth more, etc. momentarily, but I find it incredibly strange that Stanford and Cal would not be able to find a home other than maybe the Mountain West. That's what feels weird about all of this is the Mountain West uh, stands to gain quite a bit. And yet there are still Mountain West schools that are reaching out to the Pac-12 hoping for expansion. Again, we'll talk about that uh, towards the end of this news segment. There are there are Mountain West schools. Fresno State is the one that has been reported that they have already reached out to the Pac-12 and are trying to set up a meeting for expansion. They want to get out of the Mountain West when in reality the Mountain West could expand with Oregon State, Washington State, Stanford, and Cal. That's that's a probability at this point. It's not it's not likely, but it is possible right now. So the biggest thing here is we talked about this on the show. Utah, Arizona, Arizona State, and Colorado look like shoe ins to the Big Twelve if there's not a merger of some sort, and it would make sense on a multitude of levels, right? Utah and BYU are obviously rivals. Colorado was already in the Big 12 at one point. Arizona and Arizona State, obviously that Phoenix market is huge. Those two schools are very close to the Big 12 anyway. The only school that you're, or the only state that you're leaving out at that point is New Mexico, and it's got a good geographic footprint right there. Utah, Colorado, Arizona to mesh in with what you've already got uh, with Iowa, Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma, etc. So I think that it is a it's a possibility. Do I think all of this is going to happen? No, no, not at all. Do I think a merger is likely? No, because I think the Big 12 wants to be their own entity. They don't want to go to 20 however many schools, right? The Pac-12 has 10 schools left. The Big 12, once Texas and Oklahoma leave, they will be at 12 schools. You would have a 22-team conference. So I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested to see what they end up doing here. Could you have two 11-team conferences? And no, the number isn't even, and it's not a perfect 
you know, divide by whatever number to make pods or whatever it is. It's not perfect. But the AAC just had 11 teams in their conference uh, the last two years, I believe. And in doing that, I mean, it's been fine. There's been no issue with the AAC. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.